from this day forth, you put your faith in me. Hello everyone, my name is Joy and I'm an American living in England, living my very best Harry Potter life. And today I am doing my top five Harry Potter books that are not the Harry Potter books. Does that make sense? I hope so. I'm gonna show you what I mean in just a second. If you don't know me already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more magical content. And go ahead and add me over on Instagram under the same handle, it's a Potter party, to see what other magical things I'm always getting up to. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, coming in hot at number five is relatively new to my collection, and this is the Harry Potter Exploring Hogwarts and Illustrated Guide. So I've actually reviewed this very briefly on my Instagram. I actually haven't looked at the entire thing, but I will tell you it is wonderful. I've thoroughly enjoyed the first part of it, as you can see, it's sort of like a simplistic style, which at first I wasn't into, but the more I got into it, the more I really liked it. It just has so many fun little facts about it, like I'll read you this one about the library, which is one of my favorite parts of this book. Did you notice, in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry, Ron, and Hermione need to identify the heir of Slytherin to stop students from being petrified. Hermione finds a book in the library called Most Potent Potions, I'm probably butchering that. <laughs> which teaches her how to make Polyjuice Potion. The potion was used to transform Harry and Ron into Slytherins. Okay, we all know that, but I didn't know that fact about her reaching for that book. I'm sure many of you have. Did you know that? Leave a comment down below if you are a super Harry Potter fan because I need you guys here on my channel. There's some really cool, like, you can fold out pages, Hogwarts classrooms, headmaster's office. I got to see so much of the stuff over at the studio tour, which if you haven't seen yet, I did a really cool video on it, which is linked up above. Definitely give it a check out and definitely check out this book. Let me know what you think of it. Do you have it? I just got it. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number four. Also, did you notice my hat? Yes, I'm wearing a hat indoors because it is winter. It's almost Christmas and I wanted to feel very Christmassy. And I feel like little winter beanies make me feel like that. Also, I just love the little... I think they call them baubles here. <laughs> Just kind of like an ornament is also called a bauble here. Anyway, I'm getting off track. Let's move on to the fourth book. So this is Harry Potter, A History of Magic, which was gifted to me by my husband on my birthday last year, which was super exciting. I was in America and he was in England and he came over to fly over to visit me and our daughter. And he brought me this beautiful book. And of course it is very shiny at the top. And I love that. And it's got Fox on it. I mean, who doesn't love a Phoenix? All right, let's pop it open and I'll show you inside. On this page, we have the Tales of Beetle the Bard translated from the original runes by J.K. Rowling, the most infamous witch of them all. So it's got great details in it. It's kind of more like how J.K. Rowling came about the information that she puts into the books because a lot of it comes from mythology and past real history. Like, did you know Nicholas Flamel was a real person? If you didn't know that, leave a comment down below because join the club. <laughs> I really personally like the chapter about charms. This is, again, I haven't actually had the time to read the entire book, but I do read little bits of each of my books before I sleep at night. So I have gotten pretty deep into all of them, but may not have finished them all. But there are so many things to read here. If you're interested in anything Harry Potter, or even honestly, this would be a great book for anyone interested in history or just like magical things, not necessarily Harry Potter. This is a great book, fully recommend it. This would make a wonderful Christmas gift as well. Hint, hint. Also, they actually have like a, I wanna call it like a digest version, a smaller version of this, which has, I think it's just, yeah, I think it's just less pages or something. Um, I will definitely leave a link down below where you guys can purchase these things. And as usual, I'm not sponsored or anything. And these were all paid for by myself and my husband. So these are my full recommendations and I love them. <laughs> Oof. All right, this one is quite heavy, but it is also very magical and very special to me. So this one, oh, the Harry Potter page to screen complete filmmaking journey updated edition. It's got that boom mic on it, which kind of breaks the fourth wall of the magic, but it has Harry and Dumbledore on the front and it is wonderful. Also, you can see the camera here. And like I said, it is massive. As you probably guessed, I haven't finished this one either, <laughs> but it's wonderful. I have read um, about half of it, but let me just show you how, Oh, 
I opened up to Umbridge. Let me show you just how descriptive it gets. Yeah, this is a massive book. Or, I mean, if I were Hermione, I just picked it up for a little light reading. I mean, it's, it's kind of like, I don't know, I just love Harry Potter trivia and things. I love being like an encyclopedia of Harry Potter things. Like, <laughs> I have so many Harry Potter books now that are just like not the Harry Potter books. I just think it's wonderful. It has like some of the art in it. It has just mostly facts about behind the scenes and like how they all came to be and how they did the different effects because I find that very interesting. Obviously, as someone who makes videos. Also, ooh, <gasps> what's inside? Oh, I think that's just an ad. We're gonna ignore them. <laughs> it's even got bits about Mina Lima in it. <laughs> who are the wonderful people who created this one beautiful, what? Who are the wonderful people who created this beautiful background of mine? If you haven't seen it yet, I also posted a video about that. So definitely check that out as well. Um, what's really cool about this book is it's sort of like, I don't know if this is called like embossed. Is that what that's called? but you can see things on it that you have to look at it in the right light to be able to see what shapes they are. They're almost invisible, but it makes it just that much more magical and it looks great on any shelf. It is quite expensive though. So this is definitely a, a splurge sort of gift, a must need for any Harry Potter fan, especially of the films. Okay, this is one I actually just recently picked up, which you may have seen in my recent studio tour in London Hall. And it is the Harry Potter film wizardry updated edition, which I think actually the page to screen one was also updated, just as a side note. This one is really magical too, obviously. <laughs> it's another one about the films. If you couldn't tell, I really love the films. I do love the books as well, but there aren't quite as many um, like behind the scenes about the books as there are as the film. But let me give you a peek inside and I'll try to show you things I haven't already shown you. So we have just opened up to the Gryffindor page and if you haven't noticed, I am a Gryffindor and it's got the advanced potion making in here, which actually doesn't have any of the pages of the books in it, but it does have some glossy stickers for you to put on any potion bottles you may have. And then on the next page is Slytherin with Snape. We have Quidditch. We have the uniforms. There's things about Lockhart, all of the professors, the Chamber of Secrets, Hogsmeade. And what's really cool about this book is it comes with all kinds of like paper goods. So I actually have some of them on display in my house already, but here are some that I haven't put on display and these are the proclamations. I don't quite know if I want to hang them yet or if I did where it would be. We live in a relatively small flat, so I'm not trying to do the entire house Harry Potter because I do have to share it with my husband and my daughter, <laughs> but mostly the living room is Harry Potter. But I'm getting off topic here. It comes with some really wonderful things. A film wizardry photo album. It comes with a huge map of Hogwarts, similar to the Marauders map, which of course they also brought. <laughs> but yes, it came with a replica, which is very special to me. I have on my wish list the Noble Collection. I'm just dropping everything. Hold on a sec. They definitely brought their A game and they have the Marauders map in there. It is a wonderful replica that I would totally encourage you to purchase this book for, if anything, just for the paper goods, because I think they're so special. Many little fun goodies in here. I won't spoil all of them. Definitely need to get your hands on this. It's awesome. And last, but certainly not least, is one of my absolute favorite books that I own, and it is The Art of Harry Potter which was supposedly a, was a Barnes and Noble exclusive. So if you are from the UK, you may or may not have heard of Barnes and Nobles, but it is one of the leading bookstores in the United States. I'm not sure if it is the leading, I haven't done my research, but it did buy out another bookstore called, what was it called? Books a Million, which was quite popular from the area I was from. Barnes and Noble released the Art of Harry Potter books. Um, I'm sure you can buy these in the UK as well. I have seen them. So I don't know why this one is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It could just be for the United States, but let me show you inside the book. All right, so it starts out with chapter one in the wizarding world. And as you can see, it has all kinds of art. Obviously it will, and they are gorgeous. If you are an artist and you just want some ideas, that's actually why I got it, because I like to draw a lot, although I don't do it as much as I used to. I do like to draw a lot and I got this for inspiration because there's just so many ideas and things 
scenes that didn't come to life in the Harry Potter series or just even different angles of them. It's really magical. Like honestly, I've spent hours and hours looking at this thing. I mean, you do all kinds of studies in here. If you really want to get a good grasp of what the wizarding world looks like in specifically Harry Potter, not Fantastic Beasts, this is the book for you. This is one of my favorite pieces. It is Hermione. You may have seen this floating around online. It's when she's sad because Ron and Lavender are making out. <laughs> but she is lovely and it looks just like Emma Watson, who I love. Yes. Oh, and Thestrals, my favorite creature in the Harry Potter Wizarding World universe. They are absolutely lovely. Look how beautiful they are. I would like to do some more art of them. I did do some art of them previously, but not recently. We have dragons, werewolves, broomsticks. It just goes on. Like I said, I don't want to spoil the whole thing for you. This is another one. It is not a cheap book. I paid $75 for this in the United States, and that's quite a lot of money, but I do think it's worth it. It is, like I said, it is hefty, um, but it will last you for ages. It is a great coffee book, and it is a great gift for anybody that you love or mildly like. <laughs> All right, so I actually do have one more book to show you, but I saved it until the end because it is part of the Harry Potter series books, but it's a little different and I'm sure you've seen it. <sighs> I can't find it. Accio book. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, this is the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and it is one of the illustrated books. And if you haven't seen these, you need to, because they're amazing. They're illustrated by Jim Kang. This is Sirius Black, of course, as Padfoot, because he's introduced to us in this book, as I'm sure you are well aware. And this is a beautiful illustration of him. The entire book is filled with things like this. This is my favorite one out of the entire book. It is the Patronus term being executed perfectly by Harry Potter for the very first time in the Forbidden Forest while he's protecting Sirius Black. And it is stinking gorgeous. I love it so much. I actually, I wish I had a print of this. I would definitely put this on my wall, like a giant version of it. I think it's so beautiful. But the entire book is like this and I wanted to include it as a special one because as I said, it is part of the Harry Potter series, but because it's relatively new, I thought I'd include it anyway because it is a little different because it does have all of these beautiful illustrations. So I hope you don't mind me adding that in there. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a magical rest of your week, and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on Sunday when I will show you another magical journey to Kessel Howard in England. Bye.